Hello, hello. Today, I'm going to show you some ways that you can use AI to create amazing images for your designs. In images such like this that you are seeing here on the screen. So let's go to the video. Okay, guys, so we have the software here called Me Journey. Me Journey is a way that you can create your own images. You can type a text and the images are going to be created. So this is the website, but we have others. We are going to use Me Journey to create these images, okay? Then we have Jasper Art. This is one of the newest. It's not uh, as good as Me Journey, in my opinion, but you can see the images that it can create here. Right, this is Jasper. It's very easy to use. And we have also Doll E, right? I never uh, used this one here, but you can uh, see some images that it creates as well. But Me Journey, in my opinion, is the best. But of course, this is, uh, we have new things all the time. So stay tuned because we will have lots of new things in the future. You can be sure of this. Okay, so here is Mid Journey. I'm using Mid Journey here on Discord. Discord is a, uh, an app that you can use. And, and when you purchase Mid Journey, you're going to have this thing here called Mid Journey Bot. And then you type your own things. You can see that we were creating some yoga images here for some posts that you green, right? But we have created lots of images in our in our Instagram channel. We are using this for a month or two now. So you can see some images that we have created here. This was created by using Mid Journey. You can see here, we have uh, all these images here are created by Mid Journey. This post apocalyptic uh, thing here is created by Mid Journey as well. We created this, this, this beauty here, crazy beauty created by Mid Journey. And we started here, right? We started with this image here. So we are using this for some time now, right? Some crazy pictures with plants inside. Of course, when you look on things, you see that is not really real, right? You see some mistakes. So we created videos with that as well. So lots of images we have created already. This one here, right? Some floating, some floating plants here. So this is another uh, image that we had created. Uh, even our books here, we have created with uh, Me Journey, right? So we have created lots of things here. So uh, you can see our images here and you can see that we have a prompt, right? So let's say we want to create something new here. So we are going to, to copy this thing here. Uh, this is related to what we want usually. Then uh, we put some mo some other informations to make it more um, how we imagine things. So this is an imagination thing, right? We have this first information, the second information. Then we we put some uh, okay. We want a wood floor, natural colors, and this is related to the rendering that we want. So hyper realistic, 4K post processing, studio lighting, octane render, and this is the 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 size, right? There's a resolution. So uh, we are making this this pictures, uh, portrait pictures, right? So, but we could create something different here. So let's say uh, I need to type the prompt, just call imagine, right here in Mid Journey. So imagine prompt, and then I can type my things here. So I will just change the resolution. And I want to have, for example, a sustainable, beauty background of a sustainable city this is kind of you're we're not giving much information for me journey right but let's try and see what me journey can do you you see that i made a mistake here in this part so we had a, a failure here but this is going to start so waiting to start Okay, and now we have the final image. We have the four, four options here for this image. Let's say I like it, this one here, right? Since I didn't give much information, uh, the software is going to, to try for themselves, right? But let's say I like it, the first option. So I can click on U1 and we are, okay, I had created other options here as well. So let's say I like it, this picture here, 
And here I created some other images with the same description. So you can see that with one description, we can create lots of different options. But let's say I like it, this first option here, okay, this one here, and I will create a click on U1. And let's say I enjoyed this, this option here, right? This crazy internal building here. And then I can create on U3, right? So it's going to calculate this image and it's going to create a better resolution image of these two options now, okay? But let's say I had enjoyed this first picture here, but I wanted a variation of this first picture. So I can create on V1. So it's going to create four other images on this uh, idea here, okay? But let's see what is processing now. So 54% uh, uh, is processing, right? We, we can see there is processing 63, but we already see the idea of the picture that we have here. So it's uh, an image that we can create here for our background or something. So this is uh, an idea that we can create. Here is 63%. We can click here and take a look on how it is going to be, right? And here we have the four options. Four little uh, differences between this option here. So this is a, a, an opportunity that, that you have as well on Journey. So you can click in one of this. And I could click in a full resolution version of this one here, for example, or I could create even more variations. But we can see here, we have the rendering. So that picture of sustainable building with that properties, we got this idea here, okay? Let me show some other pictures that I have created here. You can see the description. So tiny house in a forest, let me, Open this one here. So tiny house in the forest, natural colors, hyper-realistic 4K, God Race, post-processing studio lighting, Unreal Engine 5 obtain render. And this is the property as well. We can write this way as well to make this a uh, portrait version. So this was one thing that I had created here. And this one here, I think it's amazing, right? So this uh, tiny house in the, in, the, in the snow. So you can see here, tiny house in the forest, natural colors, uh, 4K is snowy. We put snowy and God rays. So God rays is like the God of, it's like this rays here is like, a, it gives a Bible feeling on that, right? This uh, old Bible uh, pictures. So you can see there it's a snowy picture here. And we have others. Uh, this one here in the forest without snowy on this tiny house. This one, I love this picture. Right, this tiny house in a forest with God rays. So uh, in a forest, it's a very realistic forest, I think, so nice. But we can use even uh, different feelings on images. We can use different styles. For example, I could create the same picture. Let's say I will get the same picture here, this tiny house, right? I will copy this. And now I'm going to change for Van Gogh style. Let's see what is going to happen. So we are using the same description as you can see here, but we are using a different style, right? So here was Octane Render, here is Van Gogh style. So we can see uh, what Ami um, Journey understand that is Van Gogh style. And we have these four options here. And of course, we can increase the scale of one that we had enjoyed. For example, let's say the number two image, this, this here, I enjoyed. So let's see how, how it's going to be. Okay, so this is the final image of this tiny house in Van Gogh style. And here you can see how you can make amazing things using AI. And the more description you add to this, more accurate the image is going to be. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed the video. Tell me your comments here below. I would love to hear what you have to say about the subject. And I see you in the next video.